Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. In <coughs> and uh, today's um, one of the videos, I'm gonna show you how you can uh, win in uh, Operation Tiger Claw. Uh, now, this is a fairly recent introduced PVE map and uh, missions, and uh, I see that I'm seeing a lot of uh, losses when uh, whatever I whenever I get this uh, operations. So um, I hope this video will demonstrate how you can uh, take advantage um, from uh, from some situations and uh, how you should position just yourselves. So uh, so um, let's get started. Oh, by the way, I'm uh, using our not our. I'm using my uh, new microphone here. Uh, um, <coughs> so <laughs> if anything improves, uh, please let me know in the comments down below. So, first of all, you really need to check um, your team uh, team list here. So we have two MBTs and uh, two very heavily armored tank destroyers. Basically, you can consider them s they themselves uh, themselves, whatever. Uh, you can consider them as a uh, MBT as well. Um, and uh, we have one artillery support, which is which is uh, fairly nice, I guess. Um, could be better if we have another MBTs or tank destroyer. Um, by the way, do not uh, use a uh, armored fighting vehicle in this operations because um, all the engagements are close range, and you know what happens to armored fighting vehicle if they have close range uh, encounters. Um, un unless you got fairly decent armor, I I guess, um, and uh, you you don't want to be uh, eating the uh, the AI's ATGMs all day. So we clear out this capture point, and first of all, many many players' instinct is to cap it, right? Because it is our objective. But actually, you. You can, but it will make this game a lot harder if you capture it um, relatively early. Because the next set of capture point is right inside this town. And the best way to do is to leave someone behind, like, like this artillery. And then um, we just get into positions and start to cap. Um, so that we won't um, be delayed by the AIs that spawn on the next wave um, because there will be a lot of uh, enemies spawn try to capture this capture zone here and uh, as you can see right now the artillery is start capping the first one and uh, we're just preparing the second one and uh, once we capture it there will be immediately immediately spawn the uh, second wave of the uh, enemies so w you really want to get into positions first um, in order to you know not lose this game because what what I see mostly is um, our team got stuck on uh, this area here, or this area here, try to fight off the uh, enemies. And then, what the enemies do is just have a couple of few tanks sitting inside the, the capture zone, and we cannot reset because uh, we're not in the town and are busy fighting with some enemies. Um, if you try to rush it, while the enemies are not dealt with, you're showing your side armor um, to <laughs> a lot of ATGMs. And uh, anyone who play anyone who play armor warfare long enough is know that that is a very bad idea. So don't do that. You're probably gonna lose anyway. So communicate with your teammates. Um, not to cap at the uh, first cap uh, too early 
Uh, another good position for um, countering the uh, capture zone is somewhere around here, um, E2. Um, if you are ha ha playing a uh, tank destroyer, and uh, you can actually go there. Um, there, uh, there is a uh, quite good um, line of sight. Uh, <coughs> sorry, line of sight inside this this whole area here, and uh, you can get shots. Um, like here, you can get shots as well if you're situated um, there. Uh, if the teammates start pushing the second cap, you can always, you know, move alongside and uh, get some good side shots there. So for now, we we'll clear the uh, first capture zone and uh, working our way to the second one. The second one um, is a lot less variable because the enemy cannot cap it. Only, uh, only the players can. So there's no, there's no pleasure, uh, pressure in uh, in capping it. You know. So just slowly work your way there. So right now, I, I decided to um, clear our backside because um, I noticed there's. Uh, a few more, a few more enemies behind. Oh, by the way, uh, the newest patch, um, they nerfed the uh, the uh, aiming accuracy of the uh, AD gems on AIs. So um, you can bounce a few more uh, AD gems. Um, from the enemies. I don't think they changed the armor piercing though. So watch out for that. Okay, so we cleared our backside here, and uh, they almost clear out the uh, front. Oh, okay. There's another C1 here. So you really gotta make sure you clear this out because you do not want to uh, get sandwiched between enemies. Because this this is not like World of Tanks where you can uh, both angle in two directions at once because everyone is so high on uh, penetrations. Uh, once you start to angle a little bit more, and uh, they will get your side armor. So, well, unless you do in, in Challenger Two or something like that. Um, so that's cool. So we clear out the uh, second capture zone. Um, again, uh, do not cap it immediately. Though this one is uh, a little bit longer uh, capture time. Uh, um, I have no idea why he leave. The capstone here, I guess he want more damage. I have no idea. So once you're um, in these kind of positions, uh, as you can see here, there's a lot of open ground um, with no cover. Uh, and uh, the enemy will just like the uh, first capture zone. Oh, the trees just pop up there. Okay. Um, we rushed um, this capture point. So what you want to do is either situate yourself somewhere around here, which uh, where they spawn, and uh, hope you do not get tracked, and uh, you can use your armor effectively. Or you can, like me, sit in this position and see. Um, I found that they don't shoot me much in here. I have no idea why. 
maybe maybe this um heal here brought some of them. So yeah, this is my choice of uh, position C. But yeah, as you can see, once we uh, kept the second capture point, the the enemy will just spawn immediately and uh, start rushing here. What I do not recommend is um, situation situation yourself in uh, this T14s uh, teammates positions because a lot of them will sit behind. Um, this ridge line, and if you do not have enough gun depressions, or there's too too more too much enemy in the way, um, you cannot reset the cap in time, because there will, there will be enemies coming here to your flanks, um, and that make you very nervous, right? So I do not recommend um, s having too many teammates sitting here because. Um, I have a few uh, moments where I can't reset it because we are just here and we're dealing with these enemies rushing in um, from the side, you know. So always wait until you're in positions um, to counter that. So there it is, we have successfully defended the capture zone and uh, we will just go to clean out the rest of, okay. um, the rest of the enemies. The, the really difficulty is um, in these missions is to communicate with your teammates really. Um, because you need to wait until um, the capture zone. Uh, actually, until you you are in positions to cap is uh, what I'm trying to say. Yep, GG, well played. Uh, though the artillery do not do much, though. Um. Sure, you can help here and there, but it is not as useful as uh, you know bringing out a uh, tank destroyer or MBTs. So, guys, there you have it. Um, this is not the hundred percent way, but I'd say this is a very effective way to play Operation Tiger Claw. I um, hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I will see you in the next one.